aged 104. Because he woke up in his big house in the village. He woke up one morning, unrolled his big trunk, flapped his big ears, and let out a terrible trumpeting sound. <coughs> Today is my 104th birthday, and I have a special present arriving by Amazon Prime. <laughs> And it's going to be a very special day, and so he invited Ignatius the church mouse to come round and be there when his great new present arrived. So he got himself ready, he kept looking out the window to see whether the lorry would arrive. And then it did. Arrived late morning. Perfect, perfect, he said. And, and the present? was huge. It was a 60 inch Samsung HD full color TV and it was smart. And he thought, oh it's wonderful. Just in time for the first Euro footy game between Croatia and England. So they were both sitting on the settee and there it was, started in five minutes, he was looking at the clock, tick, tock, he got so excited, they had a big bag of banana flavoured crisps. And then the doorbell rang. Well, Henry let out a terrible gasp. Don't answer the door, Ignatius. But Ignatius said, it could be a, a birthday card for you. So he went and opened the door, and it was Luigi the Italian magpie. And he said, oh, Luigi, you look really sad. But he was sad, because it was his mother's birthday. She was in Italy, and because of the pandemic, he wasn't allowed to fly all the way to Italy because of the dodgy bias. So he said... I'm thinking of mum, when I was a little bambino, he said, when I was a little bambino, I want to travel. But my mama, she said to me. And then he kept going on. Well, Henry looked at the clock, tick, tock, three minutes to go before the footy. Tick, tock, how long is he going to be? Well, I say it to mama. And mama say it to me. He kept going on. He couldn't stand it any longer. Anna! I'm sorry your mother's in Italy and you can't share the birthday, he said. But I'm sure she'll have a great time. Well, um, uh, run along, he said, because uh, the foot is just about to start. Your friend or Luigi, you want to travel, I give you a plan. Your friend or Luigi, but you not listen to Luigi. And he flew off in a huff. Well, I thought that was rude, said Ignatius, he said. Uh, poor thing, he just wanted, shh, he said. The foot is just starting. Well, they were watching football, and uh, first 20 minutes, and it was getting so exciting, nil, nil. The doorbell went. <coughs> Henry the Elephant looked at the clock. <coughs> Don't open the door. But Ignatius, the church man, said, well, it could be another present or it could be another card. He said, he opened the door, being good-hearted. And it was Jasper the Toad. <coughs> he was croaking away. Jasper, you look terrible. You look terrible. He said, Ignatius, and Henry, he said, you've got to help me. He said, I've just had this letter from the council. And they say, I've got a move. From Dunham on the Hill. I've always lived in Dunham on the Hill, he said. I've always lived in Dunham on the Hill. They want me to move to Frodsham. Oh, what a horrible place, he said. Rip, honk, honk, honk. Oh, dear. I've always lived, he said, in Dunham on the Hill, a lovely garden full of mud, and we splashed about when I was a little toad. Well, Henry the elephant was looking at the clock.
And he thought, well, what's going on? Goal! England had scored. Ray! Ah! Great, he said. Great, great. Wasn't listening to anything he was saying. I don't want to move to Frontship, he said. It's a horrible place and there's no proper ponds in Frontship. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And he said, don't worry about it, he said. Don't worry about it. I know it's a horrible place, Frontship, but there's plenty of mud there, he said. You, you go and enjoy yourself. At the moment, I'm watching the footy. So he murbit, murbit, croaked off. Misha said, well, that was very unkind, he said. And uh, uh, Henry said, shh, I'm watching the footy. As the game... Listen to me, because we could, we could, if we lose again or play that way, we could go out of the Euros. Ignatius thought he really got angry. He said, out of the Euros, he said, now you want someone to listen to you. You want me to stay and listen to you. But when Luigi and, and uh, Jasper <laughs> wanted you to listen to them, you couldn't be bothered because you was watching the football. You dozy great elephant, you have the biggest ears in Dunham on the Hill, but you don't know how to listen to people when they need you. Ah! He thought, I have got the biggest ears in Dunham on the Hill, and I didn't listen to them, and now I want someone to listen to me. Hmm, listening is so important, he thought. I know what I'm going to do, he said. We're going to take some of my birthday cake around to Luigi and Jasper the Toad, and I'm going to listen to them carefully with my big ears. And that's the day that um, Henry the Elephant remembered the words of Jesus. If you have ears to hear, then listen.